Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the AMD A10 7850K Canberry APU. This is, at the time of this video, the flagship model. And now let's move on to the specifications. The AMD A10 7850K is a quad-core Canberry APU that uses the FM2 Plus socket. It has four cores and four threads. The base clock is 3.7 GHz and the turbo clock at 4 GHz. The AMD Radeon R7 iGPU is used and the TDP is 95 watts. The 28 nanometer architecture is used and 4 MB of level 2 cache is offered. Dual channel DDR3 2133 um, memory is supported natively. In the box is the manual, the stock cooler, thermal paste is reapplied already by the way, and the processor itself with the sticker. Dual graphics is also a solution here. You just paired this APU up with an AMD Radeon R7 graphics card. But now let's move on to the benchmarks.
right, to make it as short as possible, the AMD A10 7850K definitely has performance to offer. However, the problem here is the price. As you saw yourself, the CPU performance didn't change at all or even got worse than on the previous generation A10 6800K. The iGPU performance got a lot better though, but that's no reason to pay that much for this APU. At the time of this video, this A10 7850K costs more than the Intel Core i5 4430, but in terms of performance, it can't even compete with the Intel i3 4130. The A10 6800K definitely has a much better price performance ratio than this 7850K. So CPU performance got a little worse or didn't change at all, iGPU performance got a lot better. However, the iGPU still can be used for a decent gaming experience. The temperatures at least are no problem at all here, and the power consumption also got lower compared to the 6800K, but still, it's not competing with Intel's power draw. But at least overclocking is made easy, since this is a K-series APU. Unfortunately, the CPU is too weak for the very demanding modern games such as Crisis 3. I tested with the NVIDIA GTX 780 graphics card and got very low frame rates, but the same thing happened to me with the Intel i3 4130. It looks like it's the dual cores that don't do it anymore. Well, this APU is a quad core, but you know, it has that two modules and so on, so it's very similar to a dual core. In the end, it's an okay APU with not much improvement over the last generation APUs, but the price at the time of this video is way too high. Pros are good overall performance, good iGPU performance and improved power consumption. As for the cons, I have to say, not a best price performance ratio and no real CPU performance gain over the last generation of APUs. But still, when only looking at the performance and not the price, I definitely recommend this AMD A10 7850K APU. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.